Hello, this is the wrap for MB03, day 01, Saturday the 12th of February 2022. There is definitely something about um, an early morning start. Just as it's getting light and the roads are not too busy, um, I'd hesitate to say the sun came up, but it got less cloudy. The M5 was like, sort of like... I'm on a football trip, except there was no one else with me, and get off at Junction 6 and go cross country. I'd done that before, a long, long time ago. I used to go to Telford quite often, and I'd forgotten. Kidderminster, this is where I am, in the Premier Inn, Kidderminster's basically roundabouts and hills, and it was really, really rather blowy when I got here. Um, the Premier Inn is in an old brick building. Um, reception is on the fourth floor and the hotel is underneath it, which is a bit strange. Anyway, the car park isn't free and you have to use the Just Pay app, which says uh, there will be no commission except this 40p commission on it. Um, to be perfectly honest, they are more useful than having to shove a tenner into a machine or put £10 worth of £2 coins in there. but. We shall see. Anyway, um, it's supposed to remind me because uh, I've got to top it up again today. Um, Kidderminster has no spoons. I like spoons because they're open early. You can have coffee, you can have beer, you can sit there, you can slurp up the Wi-Fi and you can plan your day. There is a pseudo spoons. It doesn't open till nine o'clock. Anyway, um, I couldn't find Costa Coffee. Google Maps was not much help. Long story short, industrial estate, which was packed out, in the Costa anyway. Um, and later in the day, I found a Costa right next to the Premier Inn, which is no surprise, as I think they're still owned by the same people. Yeah, well, things. Mm. Um, uh, after the Costa, I went in a pub called The Swan, which has had some good reviews, and it's a bit of a gastro pub. Um, it's opposite the town hall, where they have weddings, and there were tons of people going to the wedding, and it was an eclectic mix. The Swan's Wi-Fi was down, so um, I did pinch some from Barclays Bank. Um, although there was a little bit of tethering going on because Tesco's mobile was full signal. I really have to get a 6A when it comes out. I need the 5Gs. Um, and talking of 5Gs, it seems to be the case that wherever there's a Premier in, there's a 5G mask quite close. Although in this one, it varies between 5 and 4G. Although I have a seven day voucher for the Wi Fi, which I got in Gloucester and is working a treat here. It tags along to your MAC address. Anyway, about five minutes' walk from the Swan, there's a place called the Beer and Cider Emporium. Doesn't look much from the outside, however, the sign on the door said open around 12 ish. The lady who greeted me was absolutely excellent. Very, very friendly, knowledgeable. Um, they do table service anyway. They have cask and they have keg and they have cider and they had an eclectic but really good selection of bottles and cans. Not scared to serve the Belgian either. Um, quite a lot of large Belgian bottles. Unfortunately, it's going to be closed now for, I think it's about a fortnight because the owner's husband is going into hospital. But I think I could come back here. Anyway, the plan for the day ahead is a bar called the Wolf and Bear, I think it is, which is not far from the Swan or the Beer Emporium. That opens at 12. And the other thing I need to do is search out another pub that opens early. Maybe even try the pseudo spoons. I'm not sure. But I am sure of this. I'm having a very good time. Even if today is going to be soggy Sunday. You know. Bye bye.